Hello everyone, I am going to try and get through this video. <laughs> I am still very much under the weather and I'm losing my voice, so we'll see how this goes. I am in a new planner again. I still have the same Carpidium um, binder. I really, really enjoy this. I love the freedom of being able to move it, things around. Um, I love the portability of it. I just, I love this binder. I just don't like the guts of the Carpidium. So, anyway, okay. So, I am in a group on Facebook um, that was created by a lady who runs a blog. I believe the blog is called Intentional Moms or something. I don't know. She changed the name of it recently, but I'll link it below. And she just, or she just organized or like created her own planner and released it on Black Friday and um, so this is it it is called the organized life planner this is the 2017 I got the undated um, and a few extras I am not sponsored I am not getting paid for this video I just wanted to show you what I did I did print it out a little bigger then I feel like I needed. Um, originally, I was going to do it at 75%, and I'll explain that in a second about how I printed it. And then I went with 80 because I was looking at 75%, and I was like, no, that's a little too small. And then I got it in the planner, and I was like, no, I should have gone with 75. Always go through first instincts, guys. All right, so organized life planner. So this is the cover page. It's a PDF file. It is a printable planner. Um, I am currently using HP something paper. It's like 32 pounds. I'll show it in a second. Um, that's what the... Okay, and then you have your... This planner belongs to page. There are a few other pages that I did not include because they'd already gone through a crap ton of paper trying to figure out how to get it to a 7x9 size um, <clears throat> and print double-sided. So it is not going to look like the PDF exactly, but that's one of the beauties of a printable planner. I did include her little copyright page just to have something on the back of this one this is the only page right now that is in here that is not hers she did not have a year at a glance page and I wanted one so I just pulled this off of Google okay and then <laughs> my kids helped me out with that and then we have another blank page because again I was piecing together what I wanted okay and then we go to I feel like that's it. Okay. Um, this planner is really awesome. It's not like anything I've seen before. And it fits just about what I need, I think. Hopefully. We'll see. I'll let you know in a month or two. I only printed two months for now, so we'll go from there. Anyway, okay. Embrace your season. Find your focus. And then it has, like, list three words that describe you. What are your primary roles? List three characteristics you value. What are your gifts? Identify your season, and then it has little subcategories, marital status, kids and ages, financial status, primary joy, primary concern, identify your passion, and then it has a little quote, I think. Um, in, the season, in this season of life, how can you best fulfill your roles with purpose, excuse me, purpose and passion, narrow it down and nail it down. And then check the word. Um, I do love that she is kind of scripture based, but not like um, it's it's really there's not a lot of it spread around, which is awesome to me because I do use a particular version, and I like to coordinate the verses with what's going on in my life. So I like that she has like scriptural cues but not like scriptural verses written out if that makes any sense at all okay and then she has a my focus and then my verse page I really like that page these are hard to turn I think my paper is still kind of new and sticking together <laughs> okay and then we have yearly goals 
Um, you have a spot for six goals, why you want the goal to happen, and how you're going to execute it. And then you have a bucket list page, you have a list, planned, and done. Okay, on the back of the bucket list page, there's a notes page. Um, and then this is where it kind of gets not how the planner looks in the PDF thing. Again, I bought the larger homeschool lesson planning pack. <clears throat> I think it was like $10. I can't remember, but it was the big one. Um, and I printed some of the pages that I needed off of that. I will print more as the year progresses and I need more planning pages for the year. But since my school year is basically planned, I only needed a few. Um, so I have my family mission statement and yearly goals page. And then I printed them out of order because, like I said, I didn't need all of the pages right now. Um, so this was not right after this one in the pack. We have outings and events and a reading list. And then she has an attendance chart. And I printed one for each of my kids. Well, each of my school kids anyway. And then I put, I think, a notes page on the back of each of those just so that I had something to fill it with. And then this is where it goes back to normal. There's a dot grid notes page, and then you have your calendar page. Now, in the one that I ordered, I ordered the undated version, but the December came as a bonus. I don't know if she's still running that. I can't remember when she said she was going to end that. Um, but yeah, so I got December, so I printed that too. Okay, so in the one that I bought, um, I did buy the undated, um, but it did come with December. I have already, like, written in December, and I just don't feel like showing that to you guys. So, I'm going to show you January, since I haven't filled it out yet. So you have another dot grid note page. And then your monthly view, it's pretty basic. Pretty basic. And then you have your notes section. Um, let's see. And by the way, I printed in black and white because I wanted to be able to color it myself. And I wasn't paying for that much coloring. So there's that. Anyway, okay. Monthly planning home care. She has tasks to complete. Um, and it's just lines, a chore schedule, and it's um, Monday through Sunday. And then up top we have home projects to complete. You have project number one, step one, step two, step three to, com to be completed by. And then project number two, same thing. And then special events this month. Um, then you have a personal growth monthly planning page and you have goal number one, two, three, four, five, and six and they're numbered one through three. Personal projects to complete, project step one, two, three to be completed by. Um, intentional rest. So I like that she has a spot to actually plan to rest because as a stay-at-home mom of four, almost five kids, <laughs> Yeah, that's something I don't do a lot of. <laughs> um, and then it says what and when, and then just below it, what and when again. And how will I connect with my people? I really like this one, too, because I thought that was a really neat addition that you just don't see in other planners. So I thought that was kind of cool. And then you have a monthly meal planning page. You have dinner ideas. They're numbered 1 through 31. And then there's a space for an extra. Then you have breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, and snack ideas. And a shopping list. And she has it, like, separated by, um... Ugh, I would, I'm going blank. By, like, how you would find it in the store, basically. By category. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> and then another dot grid page. Yes. And then we go into another, like, not how the planner is on the PDF. Because, again, I added some from the homeschool thing. 
so I have this week what we need um, and then I used again from the homeschool pack the non labeled version of the week it says week of and then it's um, got the days of the week and then one two three four five six seven eight slots for subjects or whatever um, and then a note section and then on the back of that and these were not printed in order again on the back of that I have what went well and other ideas back into the guts of the planner how it appears um, look ahead week of and then you have your meals your dinner ideas Monday through Sunday breakfast ideas lunch ideas shopping list to do this week for home and for personal and they have the little check boxes and a don't forget spot um let's see if I can get the pages to turn my paper's still kind of sticking together it's kind of new so and then this week um, making time for what matters most you have priorities one through three you have prayers one through three a weekly tracker there's a typo I didn't notice that before Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday that'll be easy to cover up though I won't that won't bother me okay and then Monday and then in the daily you have morning afternoon and evening and then you have a set a box that's labeled one through three and then a to do with check boxes a note section and then up top you have B L D breakfast lunch dinner laundry daily chore health H2O and rest um, and then you have Tuesday and Wednesday same thing Thursday Friday same thing Saturday Sunday and then you have a look back and on the look back what went well this week what did not go well this week best memory of the week and a note section and then basically the guts of this planner are the exact same and I have it organized basically the same I do have a shopping list kind of dispersed throughout the month because I shop more than once a month um, but she had only one included at the beginning of the month but that's one of the beauties of a printable planner you can print what you want and then I put more notes pages in and I just printed this same page front to back about 10 or 11 times so that I had some notes and then I printed some extra shopping lists just so that I had them in case I needed them and I put the dot grid on the back of that and then I bought the family memories pack which I think was five dollars I can't remember um, by the way the undated version of the planner was I think fifteen dollars so it's really reasonable when you consider the price of other planners I mean for me because I went big and did 32 pound paper um, I think I paid probably a little less than I would pay for an Erin Condren with a little more of a headache at first but now that I know what to do it's not so bad okay so <clears throat> family memories pack basically all of the pages there were eight pages in it I think um, the first page was things I want to remember and then kids say the darndest things oh things they want to remember let's see how is that categorized so you have a date and then a memory and then um, for the kids say you have date what they said and who said it and I just printed five of these pages for now and then she also had like a few I want to say six milestone pages I have not printed those yet because most of my kids are past like the milestone stage so I'll print those after Glory is born <laughs> anyway and then I still have my um, inkwell press folder in the back so that is the um, overview of the organized life planner 
Again, there were some pages I didn't print. There were some extra pages I did print. Um, I only printed two months to see how I like it. I'll give a, another review later and let you know how it goes. But, yeah, so that's that. For the tabs, I just went to Walmart and bought the repositional Avery tabs. Um, I want something different. Like, I want something more like the Erin Condren that's kind of like a clear pouch that adheres. Um, but I can't find those right now. So, I haven't really looked either, though. But anyway, so that's what I used for the tabs. Alright, let's see. Hopefully my camera will focus. So to print it, um, in order to get it the size I needed, I had to change the size and get it to print double-sided. For me, that was kind of difficult. I'm sure it's a user error because I'm not very techy, but um, I had to use a special program. Not a special program, but like one that had like the old school printer Thing. I'll show you in a second. Anyway, so what I'm using right now is Foxit Phantom PDF. Um, and I just opened it up. I went to print. If I can get it to open. This is hard to do because I'm looking at it through my viewfinder on my camera. Okay, there we go. Okay. So this is kind of what I'm talking about, the old school thing where you can change stuff. Um, and what I did was I set it to my printer. I can't find my mouse. There it is. Okay. I went to pages and I selected the page I wanted to print. And I had to do it individually. And I'm sure, again, it was a user error because, I don't know, when I hit print open up. I'm trying to adjust to a new computer, guys. This is hard. <laughs> I miss my MacBook. Okay, when I went to print odd pages only or even pages only, at first, like, the first set, like, the odd pages would print perfect. And then I would hit print even pages only and I'd flip it you know, to double-side print, and they'd hit print, and then they'd be all wonky and out of order and not printing correctly, and I'm not sure why. So, and then I tried just to print all and do double-sided, but it wasn't lining up. So, what I had to do was print individual pages. I had a paper that I labeled by page number one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. And I crossed it off as I went, um, and I did custom scale, and I did 80%, and honestly, in hindsight, for the Carpetium, I would have gone 75 like I originally had planned. Like I said, I looked at it, and I was like, no, 75 is too small. So I did 80, and then I was like, ugh, I should have gone 75, because it pokes out a little bit, um, and I don't like that. But it is what it is. I have printed so many stinking pages and wasted so much ink and paper. Thankfully, not my good paper. I wasn't dumb enough to start on that. But, yeah. Um, then I'm just going to deal with it for two months. And then I print it in grayscale and I hit print. And then I would take it and I'd flip it over so that the top part was facing down and to the back. So, like, the unprinted side was facing out but the top of the printed page was down if that makes sense and that's how I got it to line up and print double-sided <laughs> I'm sure there's an easier way but like I said I fiddled with it forever and I was not finding it thankfully somebody in one of this girl's groups told me how to do it so that was awesome but anyway so that's that and then finally the materials I use. This is the paper that I bought. It is HP two-sided printing. Um, where's the name? Oh, it's really dark. You can't see that. Premium presentation paper, 120 grams. It is 32 pounds. It came with 100. It is inkjet. 
Um, and I like it. It's nice and thick. There's a little shadowing when I write on it, but that's okay. I used this as a template to cut out. I traced in the center of the page. I traced this page around it so that I'd get everything right, and then I traced the holes. I used a single hole punch this time because I didn't want to mess it up with a, a three hole punch or like an A5 or whatever. And then I used my paper trimmer, just like I do all of my planner accessories. So, pretty basic. It's just time consuming and kind of annoying. <laughs> but I think it's worth it. Like I said, I really, 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 really like the planner um, and the way it's set up. And I think it's going to work out really nicely for me. And I love, love, love that I can just print what I need and not have the pages that I don't need or won't use. So... Anyway, that is my review on the Organized Life Planner. I will link her blog below um, so that if you are interested, you can look at it and maybe purchase it. Again, I was not sponsored. I don't get anything out of it for this video. You guys know me in planners and my hunt for the perfect planner, so that's why I'm sharing. Alright, until next time. Bye, guys.